What's up guys, Mike the Cop, and if you have followed my content for any period of time, you know I'm a huge Second Amendment supporter. I enjoy guns, love shooting them, love training, and I encourage everybody, if they can at all carry in any way, shape, or form, to do so, exercise those rights. And for today's video, we are going to talk about some awesome dry fire drills that you can do because we don't all have unlimited budgets and unlimited ammunition on the range. So dry fire drills are a great way to be able to train in a convenient place and in a convenient way. To help me today, I'm actually gonna use the underpaid producer to learn these drills. He's gonna come from behind the camera to in front of the camera, I think. Yep, we're gonna use a couple of tools that I've recently been using. I've been carrying the Glock 48 around. No, I'm not sponsored, but if they call, I'll answer. And I'm going to use the TXC X1 holster. I'm gonna be carrying it appendix style, and I'm gonna show you why this is a holster that has made me want to carry appendix style. There's a built-in wedge that's here, and that fills the void between your body and the actual holster so that it prevents it from twisting too much when you're trying to draw the weapon. And then that combined with the concealment wing on here makes this thing not print at all. It's very comfortable and very concealed. All right, so the underpaid producer here turns 21 in a little bit, a few months, yep. and he's gonna get his concealed pistol license here in Michigan. And to help me get him ready for that, I brought my friend in, Steven, one of the top notch instructors at Center Mass, and they're gonna cover three dry fire drills for concealed carriers. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Get it on. So what we're gonna be covering today is the MJ drill or the Michael Jackson drill. And uh, the, the big focus here is to, you, you gotta drill with the holster that you carry in. So we call it the MJ because you have to pull the garment up, pop your hip forward, kind of like hee hee, and get the weapon in play. And uh, Elijah, you wanna go ahead and demonstrate? Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> awesome, man. All right, so the uh, number two drill is gonna be the coin drill. If you've got a uh, penny or a nickel, either one will do. Um, the focus here is going to be that you get your trigger reset, right? Yep. You're presenting the uh, the gun downrange with a good two-handed gripper. If you're working on a one-handed grip, it's fine, okay? So you, you yep. present downrange, all right? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the coin on the front sight, and I wanna see you give a good, clean trigger press, okay? If you get that kind of result where the coin has fallen off the front sight or off the top of the slide as the case may have, what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of avoid the tunnel vision, avoid getting frustrated by turning your head away from downrange. So let's go ahead and reset, okay? We're gonna go off the top of the slide, right? Right there. And you're going to kind of look off to the side here, but keep, this, keep your goal in your peripheral vision. Just nice, clean trigger press. What we're focused on here is mechanics, not necessarily downrange accuracy, which would be non-existent because we're not shooting real bullets. What is, what's the purpose in putting it on the front sight rather front than Front sight is for fine adjustment. Once you know that you're at a skill level where you you pretty much have the lateral movement down, where mm -hmm. you're focused more now on grip stability. So that would be putting it on the front sight. Um, on the slide is when you're relatively new. So if you're just beginning in the concealed carry area, I'd recommend doing the slide. Glocks are awesome because they've got a nice flat top and they, mm -hmm. the triggers are, are stiff enough that if you have any bad trigger mechanics, that coin's gonna move left or right or completely fall off. The TV drill is one anybody can pretty much relate to. We all generally have a television. Um, what I like to do is I like to do it to action movies that I watch or action series on television and it's easy because you can do it seated or standing. You start out in a seated position like most people do on the couch, right? Um, what you'll do with appendix is you're gonna, you know, acquire the weapon, present to the, uh, to the pre-selected target on your TV screen. And the TV drill is great because it, it gives you a moving target in a fixed area that you can focus on. So you've got, you know, so many feet, like two or three feet of movement that you have across that whole panorama there, right? So in, uh, in this case, you know, you would draw, present to the target, acquire your target, you know, get that good front sight post picture, 
get a good cr clean trigger press, then you would reset the slide, reholster, sit down, and repeat every single time. And then if you notice any particular failures with, uh, with that particular drill, uh, namely like anticipation or bad trigger finger placement, you just repeat the repetition until you get that good trigger finger placement, that good hand placement on the gun, and that, that good clean sight picture. That's what we're looking for there. All right, did you learn anything? Yes, and I learned that I'm not as ready for concealed carry as I thought I was. Well, now you have some drills. There's tons more. I mean, we could buy a Roomba and shoot it. A as Roomba? A Roomba? Yeah, the vacuum thing. A Roomba? Roomba? Room? Either way, you can shoot at it. Well, it moves. Another drill. <laughs>